this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can take a design from Illustrator, in particular these are some circles designs that are created for brushes and you can find them on graphic extras but of course you could use any other design as well how you can create a nice colourful design from these and then take that into Photoshop via an EPS file now or you could of course use the CC libraries as another way of doing it as well now I'm just going to take now what I would do here I would actually select a number of these designs so I'm just going to quickly select and then I'll just go to the color guide now if you can't see the color guide window in Illustrator that is color guide and there's a whole range of different color schemes you can use here I mean just select one that one and then just click there now you can see these are grayscale designs but uh, straight away you can add some color to them now you don't have to obviously use those you can then go and select another set and again use a different design and you can play around with these hearts content just creating different designs of course you can always just go to the actual design and select it break it apart and then recolor the individual parts if you want to do it that way now okay so what I'm going to do now just stop that moving I'm just going to select that one so I've got that design there so once I'm happy with the color guide and I've used that to create some some nice colorful harmonious designs and just control C because what I want to do is create a new document now I could export the whole lot because that's normally what I do I would export the entire set I don't want to do that of course It'll take a bit of time and again the mouse seems to decide to wander off right now I've got that design I can of course rework it a bit more but I'm just gonna save that now as an EPS file so file and save as and what I'm going to do, just got those ones there, but I'm not going to go with that. I'm just going to go to my desktop and just going to save it as an EPS file. Now, EPS files can be quickly imported into Photoshop and just create, just called it test. Nothing very exciting because I could, like I say, do all the other ones using the artboard option there. Use artboards for all 100. That's what I normally do. So, save and then I just go for, say, Illustrator 3, and that's quite an old one, but it's uh, quite a nice, just as reasonable, just as okay. Works with lots of things as well, because sometimes some applications might be working with very old Illustrator, not up to date ones, so they would fail. So click OK. Okay, right, now that's saved. Next thing to do, go to Photoshop. I'm just going to quickly open the document and and I'm going to actually, I could open the source document, obviously, I could just say open, file open. Oh, I've just gone to my images, so I just want desktop, and then select that file. Now what will happen, it comes up and asks for various size, so I'm just going to have a quick look at pixels, since I'm not sure what the dimensions are. Now, I could open it at that, it doesn't really make a difference, I could open it any size. So, and I want it RGB, I just quickly open it like that. So you've got the design there now. Now, I'm using these sets as brushes. One trouble with actually opening it, and this is the one thing I was actually going to point out with the open, is that you end up very close to the edge. Now, which is maybe not ideal. Depends what you want. Another option, of course, is just go file new. And I'm just going to create a, maybe a reasonably sized document. And again, 300. And what you can do then is file and place. And then, of course, the convenience about that is that you can just place it where you want it. So you can resize it, right? And of course, now what you can do, just go to layers. This is what I normally do. Just you can just get rid of that. Now, one thing that with the patterns in Photoshop, and this is the uh, it the preview doesn't exactly work very well when you've got a very large document. So it seems to actually work better when you've got small. So I'm just gonna because obviously got this. Then you can of course apply effects maybe a blur or maybe other color schemes you maybe could create lots of variants of the color schemes you could just go to you know apply an adjustment layer or something like that change the color maybe create a whole range of different patterns now I'm not going to do that but just going to quickly resize it so images image size and then put it down to 200 by 200 I know that sounds terrible but just put it down to a, a bit smaller and then edit and define pattern. Click OK. Just going to go back that, and I'm going to just use that as a 
to fill instead of opening a new document. So I've just got a black background. Now, what I want to do is fill with that pattern. So edit and fill pattern. That's the key thing here, select pattern. And I already had some original designs there, so I'm just going to select that one. That's the key thing, because when you're in the dialogue, in the script dialogue, it doesn't allow you to change the pattern, which is a pity. It would be nice if that feature was available, but just select that pattern. So make certain you select, select the random, the random fill and script. There's a number of options, brick fill, cross weave, etc. All work very nicely. The only one that won't work there would be place along path, because I haven't created a path. So now click OK. And you notice there is a slight weird feature there. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. No, I'm just going to go back. I don't want that one, the brick fill. I want it fill and a random script. It does seem to do that occasionally. It just seems to just not bring up the dialogue. But there it is. Okay. Seems to be a bit of a bug there. Anyway, so straight away you can see the design. Now you can modify the density, modify the scaling and rotate pattern which is reasonable rotate it so all rotated as well as add some color to it so you can vary it the color click ok and there you have it very quick and easy way of creating and i'm going to zoom in a bit so it's a bit more visible so 100 and there and i could of course zoom in a bit more obviously it makes it not so good when you zoom in but anyway there you've got that design very quick and easy to create sort of interesting colorful backgrounds in a few seconds using Illustrator EPS files. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.